Hey guys, so I'm here with a Peterstone collection tour as been suggested by on my Instagram. And then I'll do my resins, customs, and then briars, but that'll probably be spanned out over quite a while because of school and everything. Um, so right here we have one of my custom body issues. This is Blakeham, I believe. Um, I got her for a hundred dollars and she is uh, a run of six, I've been told. She's got a new tail and new mane and forelock. Um, she's a chestnut with a large snip and a sock on the back. Um, she's really, really adorable and really good price and for what I got, what she is. So this yeah. is another one of my body, or custom body issues. Um, this is, I believe, Urkshine is her name. She's a dapple gray pinto. Um, she's adorable. She's got new mane and tail, and she's one of a kind. I got her also for $100, and her value on the Stonehorse website is close to $500. So I got a really good deal on her. She's got amazing molting on her nose and around her eyes, and amazing pinking. She's just all around perfect. Excuse me. On to the next horse. This is probably my favorite horse in my whole collection, Lumet. He is a one-of-a-kind Peterston Arabian who I again got for $100. Um, he is absolutely gorgeous. He's perfect. I love him. He has a new tail, forelock, and I believe a lifted head with a twitched ear. He is a bay with no markings. Um, his dapples are amazing, um, and his eyes are perfect. Um, the one thing that got me with him, sorry about my cat jumping in the background, was his tail and shading made me want him. And I, did, I couldn't afford him at my last show, and it killed me to not be able to afford him at my last show. And then the show I most recently went to, he was there again for sale and I offered her a hundred and she took it and I'm really glad that he was there because he's my first one of a kind so yeah onto this the is party favor he is very very unknown I don't know anything besides his name because of people off Facebook they don't know him either he's not on the website he is a gorgeous buckskin paint with a new tail, forelock, and twitched ear. He's da his dapples are amazing. Um, I hope he places well at my next show. He's one of my favorites in my conga. This is Tabron. He is limited to I think six. It might be fifteen. I don't know. Some something like that. He is a. Uh, Bloody Shoulder Pinto Arabian? I don't really know because he does have like a medicine hat marking, um, but the markings on his flank and kind of his neck look more like bloody mark, like bloody shoulder marks than paint marks. So he's kind of confusing, but I believe he is on the Mitten Arabian. He's got the, I think, extended bridle path or something like that. Straight head, new tail, new forelock, I believe. Yeah, new forelock. Um, he's just perfect. I got him for $100 also. I really don't know what else to say about him. He's got a really funny marking on his nose, which I find very odd, but... He hasn't shown, or, well he's shown but he hasn't placed, so yeah. <laughs> this is Holt, um, he is a custom body, again, Arabian. He's got a new tail, a turned head, and a new forelock, and he has a little bit of a lifted lip. Um, I'm sorry if there's people talking in the background, my sister and mom just got home, and I was planning on them not being home for this video, but... You know, some things just don't work out. 
but he is a solar bay and he is absolutely gorgeous. I paid $175 for him, which was kind of a stretch, but he's absolutely gorgeous and he shows well, so I don't really see a problem with it. This is BCNU. He is a gorgeous custom body Peterson or and he is a chestnut paint with a new forelock tail and a resting foot. Um, he's got adorable little kissy marks on his nose and his eyes are just perfect. He's so pretty. This is Tomcat. He is a custom body Peterson Arabian. He was actually my first ever custom body Peterson Arabian. He is a Sabino and he has a new mane, forelock, and tail. He's super adorable. I don't know how many are made of him. Um, I think I paid like 80 bucks for him, which is a crazy deal. Um, because I've seen him go for way, way more. Um, he's absolutely perfect, and he shows pretty well with a reference card for me now. So, that's pretty good. This is my glossy Pandora. She is the first Peter Stone Arabian I ever got. She's actually the... One of the first Peter Stones I got, I got two at one time, so it's kind of hard to say that she's my first, but yeah. She is a Conquering Tide series, which is basically a regular run, so she's not limited to anything. Um, her markings and color make her really hard to show, so I don't really take her because my part bread Arab is already full like overly full so I usually show them other part and part Arab. This is Saya. He is limited to 15 and he was my second ever Peter Stone Arabian. Um, I got him at my first show which was quite awesome. Um, he is a gorgeously bitten paint. He actually shows really well with the reference card too. He's actually named a few times in breed and color so he's done well. So yeah, and last but not least for the Peter Stone Arab Conga is my Eddie. He is gorgeous. He actually nanned in breed, which really surprised me, and I don't know why. Um, I wasn't really going to bring him because I didn't think he would be the one to place, but he's actually really, really nice. He's got really nice shading, um, and he's just another silver bay. I have two. Um, and he does really well. Um, considering the horses he was up against. He's got a very cute blaze and a very cute tail. Um, so he has a new tail and forelock. And that's about it. This is Peanut Butter. He is a 2014 stone regular run. He is actually really, really nice. Um, I would prefer him in gloss just because I'm more of a gloss freak than a matte freak. But, I mean, what can you do? I bought him second hand, so, well, kind of, it's a long story, but, uh, yeah. He is actually shown really well for the breed I have for him, he's, I think he's nanned at every show I've placed him in, um, so that's really, really good, um, I'm very proud of him. He's a very nice Bayron, and I think the only reason I've kept him is because his shading is so nice and he shows so well. <laughs> Otherwise he'd be gone because I don't really like the normal issues, more so the custom variation is issues. This is my custom buddy, Trotting Drafter. I, he doesn't have a name, he just has like a event name. Um, and I don't remember that event name. But he's a very, very nice Pinto. I really like his customization. I love the long tail on this mold. He's just a bastard to fit in a cabinet. Um, but what can you do? He's pretty enough to stay. But yeah, this boy is King. He is a Dapple Bay Clydesdale. Um, he is actually really, really nice. Um, He's actually placed, now that I've figured out how to get the dust out of his damn finish, um, cause he's so rough, it's really hard to get the, f um, the dust out of his finish with a brush, and I figured out you have to like, lick your finger and rub it out, and it actually comes out really, really well. 
So that's very good that I found that out because otherwise I'd be kind of screwed with showing him. But he's too pretty not to show. He actually placed in a huge paint class. He placed first. So I was very happy with that. This guy is an unknown standing drafter. He is not on the reference site and nobody knows who he, who he is, but he's a gorgeous fluffy mane and long tail standing drafter, gorgeously shaded chestnut, with a very odd face marking, which makes him kind of complicated to show, but once my that class is filled up, he'll probably be a shelf model, but yeah. This is my designer horse, Gummy Palouse, that I bought second hand. She is just a normal grey. Um, she's actually really nice. I just wish that she had some sort of marking, at least. But I'm happy with her. She's a designer horse from 2013. This is another unknown standing drafter. Um, he is just a sit at home drafter. I just kind of <laughs> impulse bought him because I had money and wanted a model and I bought him at the show. And I really regret it because I don't really like him <laughs> and he just kind of sits here and does nothing so but whatever I mean he's one in the conga so this is Aslan he's limited to about 50 I think maybe a hundred somewhere in there he is I don't know if he is like a beige or a chestnut or like what he is because he's kind of got like the dark legs but not the really dark eyes and muzzle but I think he might be a brindle because of the stripes on his barrel but he he does come with me to shows because I have room in the class but once I'm I don't have that room he'll be the one to stay home so yeah this is winter he is limited to 500 and he is made in 1999. Um, he was one of the two horses that were released in the series. There was supposed to be four. But the lady didn't make the other two. I believe there is a winter and a spring. Um, but this guy is kind of cute. I mean, he's got a funny gray color. He's very shiny and oddly shaded in my opinion but anyway he's really cute this is my glossy twinkle he is a silver bay paint on the foundation quarter horse mold i actually hated this mold at first and then i saw my friend got him and i about died um and i had to have him and i bought him and he shows very very well um i really really like him and he's very adorable the only thing I don't like very much about him is the gloss because I can't photograph him. I know I said I was a gloss freak, but I don't mind my nice horses that would be nice for photography to be matte. I'd rather all my Peter Stone Arabians be matte because they're just, or glossy because they're just standing and you can't really do much with standing horses in photography. But yeah. I still love him. This is Silverton. He is a glossy Appaloosa on the foundation quarter horse mold. Sorry about the bag wrestling. That's my cat. Um, but he's very cute. He's very odd markings and stuff. Like the mark. I don't know. But he's really cute. And I really don't regret buying him. And last but not least is my Matt Mansfield limited to 30. She is absolutely adorable. She was one of my two first stones and I really love her. She's sh she's shown really well for me recently. She hasn't been placing but I don't really mind. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye!